I am going to show you how to achieve an incredible soft glam look for Valentine's Day. Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. I hope you enjoy this video and without further delay, let's begin. I always like to start with skin prep and I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury water cream to hydrate my skin. This is by far my favorite moisturizer. It has done wonders to my skin, but it is very pricey. If you're looking for a good drugstore dupe, either Aveeno or CeraVe are perfect. I'm going to be using the Kiehl's eye cream. This is the multi-corrective eye zone treatment. And I'm going to moisturize under my eyes as well. This will keep the skin hydrated and the concealer will settle beautifully over this. And for my lips, I'm going to be using the Tatcha Kiss You Lip Mask. I'm going to wipe it off just before I apply my lipstick. Using a peach corrector from the NYX Color Correcting Palette, I'm going to neutralize in areas where I have dark circles, patches and uneven skin tone. The peach corrector is your best friend when you have uneven skin tone. This is going to cancel out the blue and purple undertones to help color correct you don't need too much product all you need is to concentrate in those areas where you want to neutralize and just apply enough after application i like to blend out just the edges i don't blend over the entire product and remove that product i don't do that i just blend out the edges to soften it so it blends in well with the other products that i'll be using and i wait for it to completely dry before i apply anything else over it and once it's dry, I'm going to go with a foundation. And the one that I'll be using today is the HD Skin by Makeup Forever. This is in the shade 2R24. This is a medium coverage foundation, but you can build it up to full coverage. And it's a long wearing foundation that blurs imperfections and delivers the most natural matte finish that looks like skin. In fact, this is completely weightless and it looks so natural from up close, especially when someone's sitting next to you and they look at your skin. It doesn't look cakey. It looks like skin. Now, listen, makeup is definitely not going to look like your natural skin, but the closer it gets to natural skin, the better it is. And not just for Valentine's in general. I like that kind of makeup. And for extra coverage in areas where I have uneven skin tone, I'm going to be using concealer. This is the Milani Concealer in Warm Beige, which is a true match to my skin tone. After applying, I like to let it sit and get a little bit tacky and dry before I blend it out to get that full coverage. And while I wait, I'm going to contour my face. And for contour, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in Truffle. As always, I'm going to be using it in the circumference of my face, in the hollows of my cheekbones, in my jawline, as well as nose. And to apply it, I'm using an angled fluffy brush from Real Techniques. Now that the concealer is a little bit dry and tacky, I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a dry sponge. I'm using a dry sponge, which will give you more coverage than using a damp sponge, which can absorb some of the product. Now that we've covered up the dark circles, we can go ahead and highlight with a lighter shade of concealer. This is in the shade 135. Highlighting your face will enhance your features by bringing out the high planes of your face. It gives that structure. So I'm going to be using the lighter shade of concealer in the high planes of my cheekbones, my jawline, my forehead, as well as the bridge and tip of my nose. I'm again going to blend everything out with a dry sponge. Again, using this two-tone technique with concealers will emphasize your features and give you more structure. Now I'm going to lightly set my face using the one size translucent loose powder. I'm not using too much powder. I'm using just enough so the makeup can absorb the powder and set. That's how I set my face. When you use too much powder is when you cake up. And also because I'm going to be baking my face today with the sponge, I'm going to take a little bit more powder and apply it in the high planes of my face. I'm going to let it sit until I'm done with my eye makeup. For brows, I'm going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade 4.5. This is a micro tip brow pencil. And as always, I'm going to use it to fill in the sparse areas in my brows while shaping it. Do you like the shape of my brows? I changed it up slightly. Is this good? Do you like it? Let me know in comments. 
With the rest of the concealer that's left on my concealer brush, I'm going to quickly clean up underneath my brows as well as on my lids. Now this is a new product from Physicians Formula. It's called the Eye Booster Eye Lifter. It's so handy and so easy to use. I'm going to use the contour side of it in the very outer corner and I'm going to quickly blend it out with my concealer brush and that should contour my eye to give that lifted elongated effect. Next, I picked up the Shadow Sticks. It's S-T-I-X. Sticks from Colourpop in the shade So Celestial. I'm going to apply it on my lid and quickly blend it out with a blending brush. And right in the center, I'm going to add a pop of highlight for which I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Shadow Stick in the shade Wild Rose. And I'm going to quickly blend it out with my finger. Now that was so simple but looks so stunning and elegant. In my lower lash line, I'm going to first use the contour stick from Physicians Formula with a brush and smoke it out. And then I'm going to apply the shadow sticks from Colourpop and So Celestial over it. And I'm going to quickly blend it out with a smudging brush. Using Inglot Gel Liner with a nail art brush, I'm going to pull out a small wing and line my lash line. It's going to be a super small wing as always that looks very elegant and doesn't interfere with the fold of my hooded eye. I'm also going to use it in the very outer corner of my lower lash line just to give that lift. And then I'm going to use a nude eye pencil in the very outer corner of my lower waterline. This is Boundless Bisque by Makeup Forever. And that should brighten up my eye. To finish up, I'm going to curl my lashes before I apply a coat of the REM Flourishing Lengthening Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to be using the Tati Lashes in TL21 because they look very natural. They are wispy and you can see through them, you can see the eye makeup, which is very important for me. They look very delicate and they also wing out, giving that elongated lift in the very outer corner. It's elegant, it's classy and it's very wearable, especially for an occasion like Valentine's Day. I'm going to dust off that excess powder that I used for baking before I use a blush. And for that hue of rosiness, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in Pink Me Up. This is one of my favorite blushes. For highlighter, I'm going to be using Flash by Ofra Cosmetics, which is my collaboration with Ofra and a universal shade that will melt into any skin tone and gives that beautiful glaze without looking powdery. And we named it Flash because we tried it with Flash Photography and it looks absolutely stunning. To line my lips, I'm going to first use a brow pencil. This is the Koki Cosmetics Brow Pencil in Auburn. And I'm just lining the borders and lightly shading it inward. And to fill in my lips, I'm going to be using Bestie by Ofra Cosmetics. Again, a universal shade that I created with Ofra. And you'll see why in just a minute. It's the most perfect nude that goes on any skin tone. Now here's how it looks when it's matte. And this is how I usually apply it. It looks very classy. Now I wanna show you both options. I wanna show you with gloss as well. You'll see that it gives you that extra pout. There's something about the shade that is absolutely stunning. And here's the finished look. It's soft, it's elegant, it's romantic, and also reminds me of a delicate flower. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this look, so comment below and let me know. And if you plan to recreate, please don't forget to tag me. You'll find my socials listed in the description box right below this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Check out the description box also for all the products that I use today. You can also click on the view products link, which is embedded within this video on the left bottom corner. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye, guys.